Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on February the 7th, 2016. The title of the message is CERN and the Tearing of the Veil. And the Lord Jesus began, O foolish ones, do you wish to challenge your God? Just because you do not recognize me as your God does not make me any less God. In your pursuit of knowledge, you have instead acquired foolishness. Your wisdom is error, for it is a pile of lies manufactured in the minds of ignorant men and of demons. Whether you know it or not, I am the great God who made heaven and earth. You throw insults at my face because you have been lied to by your teachers in school and your professors in college. You think that denying my existence makes you more intelligent. O oh, foolish one! In my world, you are as small as an ant. If I step on you, you are finished. Yet I have been patient with you, O oh, enlightened ones. I have been patient and I have not retaliated when you blasphemed my name in your institutions of higher learning. It is ironic that your so-called higher learning embraces the doctrines of devils and shuns the truth of my word. Indeed, there is no man as blind as the one who shuns truth and righteousness for the sake of ego and wickedness. In all your acquisition of knowledge, you have expanded your mental knowledge but have totally ignored your spiritual growth except when it comes to the lies of demons and the demonology you are taught in your institutions of learning. Remember, all lies and wickedness originated from the devil, for he is the father of it. If you insist on teaching and being taught lies and wickedness, then you have taken a cause in the doctrines of devils, demonology. For he, the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. It truly saddens me to watch as the men and women I created believe lies and shun truth. You pursue knowledge, you go higher and higher, and instead of getting more intelligent, you revert to primitive religious beliefs that originated from demons. They are not presented to you as religious beliefs. Instead, they are called higher forms of consciousness, enlightenment, and oneness with the universe. It is truly laughable, even though I am not laughing, that men and women spend so much money to go to college only to end up learning the same religious beliefs that were held by the Canaanites of old. In your enlightenment, you have accepted abortion, which was child sacrifice to the Canaanites, homosexuality, which was practiced by the Canaanites, drug-induced forms of spiritual elevation that originated in Canaan, satanic worship, another Canaanite practice, demonic meditation that was also widely practiced by Canaanites, sexual debauchery, a speciality of Canaanites, as well as communication with demons. Your so-called enlightenment has reverted you to the ancient wicked practices that were rampant in Canaan and for which I destroyed the Canaanites and spewed them out of the land. You now seek to figure out a way to enter into other dimensions and you think you are so clever you think this is a new concept, but I tell you, there is nothing new under the sun. What was, will be again. If you are to go back in time, you will realize that many ancient cultures were schooled in the knowledge of other dimensions with emphasis on the demonic. I shut down access to that knowledge for generations to prevent the devil and his demons from overrunning the world. But now your so-called scientists are playing a dangerous game with beings they have no control over in a dimension that supersedes your own. Do you not understand? There is a reason why the spiritual world, especially the demonic world, is veiled from you. It is to keep you safe from being overrun by evil. I put a veil between hell and earth and restored it after the flood when it was torn. The result of the torn veil led to the destruction of the whole world by water during Noah's time. The tearing of the veil now by the scientists at CERN will lead to dire consequences for this world and like at Noah's time will lead to much bloodshed. In the end, the earth will be cleansed again, this time by fire. O oh, wicked scientists, you are playing with fire, things hidden from you for a reason dimensions veiled from you for your own safety and protection. 
you have refused to listen to reason even from your own fellow scientists who have warned you repeatedly to cease your madness your ego pushed you on you will pay a high price in your blood for playing with fire every step you take into the darkness draws you closer and closer to the fires of hell from which there will be no escape for you you think you can control the spiritual world from the physical world let me school you with this the spiritual world supersedes and dominates the physical world the physical world is inferior in function capacity and power as compared to the spiritual world if the two were to merge without my permission the spiritual world would totally destroy the physical world the two were never meant to mix without my divine permission you all foolish scientists seek to be gods very well if you continue down this path of destruction you will find out soon very soon that you are not gods you are mortals and your life can and will be snuffed out in a matter of seconds if you continue playing around with the devil one day he will remove his mask and devour you alive he is the destroyer and he seeks to destroy all that i have created and to rob my prized possession man of his soul scientists please cease and desist for you know not what you are dealing with do you not understand that if you tear the veil that separates hell from the earth that demons in the millions will pour out of hell into earth and overtake overrun it and kill millions and millions of people they are a bloodthirsty bunch who have only one goal the total annihilation of the human race to make them slaves of hell come to me all curious ones do you not understand that i am the greatest scientist in all the universes why have you not come to me to ask me the many questions you have about my creation it is all my creation i hold all knowledge of it and if you come to me and ask i will reveal it to you i am the creator you and everything else is created by my will and power drop your ego and pride and come to me ask me I will answer you. Oh, wait a minute. Oops, I almost forgot. You do not even believe I exist. Therefore, you will go on in error because you think it is beneath you to believe in God and even worse to ask him to help you. I repeat, I created all. I am the greatest scientist. I have all the answers. Come. Come. Ask. I will answer you and prove to you my existence. and reveal the secrets of my creation come i am waiting and that was the end of the message from the lord jesus be blessed beloved amen